Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I thought I would just talk about all the various departments that there are in a Bunnings store. So I think this could be helpful if you are planning on working at Bunnings and you're not really sure what departments there are, like where you can work, where you would prefer to work. So yeah, I'm just going to be going through those today because you're definitely going to be asked um, during your interview if you have a preference. Now you are definitely not guaranteed in a, a particular department, like if you say oh I want to work in paint it does not mean that you're going to get to work in paint but um, on the off chance that they do need a person um, then you can ask to be in that department. So yeah the first department that I'm going to talk about is admin so this is basically the people that work at the front of the store, um, the checkout operators. So I've basically made a whole video talking about you know the general um, tasks and responsibilities um, so I'll leave that down below in the description. But yeah, in general, this is the most common department that you'll work in, especially if you're completely new, you know, if you're maybe, you're young and you're, you're in school, you don't have a lot of experience, chances are you will be put in this department. So it's probably the easiest um, in terms of knowledge, like you're not expected to know anything about the products, even though customers will still ask you. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. Also, you don't really have that much customer interaction. Like, yes, you are constantly serving customers, but because it is so fast-paced and, you know, people kind of just want to, like, pay and then leave, like, all you're saying is, like, hi, how are you? You're not really getting to have proper conversations with the customers like other departments. So another popular department is hardware. So this is basically um, builder's hardware. So when I say department, um, usually it kind of just means, you know, a couple aisles within the store. Um, but obviously with the garden section, like, you know, you've got a bigger area. So hardware is, like I said, builder's hardware. So everything from like nails, bolts, nuts, even like Velcro and, you know, like door hinges, every, you know, just those fiddly things that people use to like build stuff and in their daily life. So um, normally I think it's usually guys that work in this section and you should have some knowledge about you know those types of products like whether it's maybe you've, you've done some building you've done some DIY or you've just taken some workshop classes it's not um, too hard of a department to work in I don't think um, but for some reason my store was always short on hardware people and yeah um, you can definitely work in hardware like when you're in school like I know people that were still in college, you know, in uni and working in hardware. So that's definitely an option. Next is tools. So this is probably the, I wouldn't say the hardest department to work in, but most of the time you are constantly helping people. Like, you know, obviously people don't really know that much about tools. So a lot of people um, will ask for help. In this department, you're kind of just giving people advice. Like I knew people that work here that honestly didn't know that much. And they told me like they would literally just be reading off the box because sometimes customers are just lazy and they don't know how to read so I mean they know how to read but they just don't want to so they'll just ask for help even though everything's on the box so yeah I mean you do have to know a little bit obviously um but in saying that like you could probably just fluff your way into it <laughs> the next um department is garden so in my store most people that worked in garden I think were like kind of older ladies <laughs> Um, but obviously, you know, you should know about plants if you want to work in garden. Um, the ladies that worked in garden actually, like, worked really hard, so don't think that garden's, like, super chill and you're not doing anything, because actually, garden, um, has a lot of customers, and I, like, to me, they were always, you know, running around doing stuff, they were always helping people, so I feel like garden is actually one of the more, kind of, harder departments, I guess, in terms of, like, workload you're like you're constantly moving around and it's a very popular department like for customers next is trade so i don't think people really ask to be put in trade but it's just obviously a pretty important part of the store so yeah um i knew a girl who worked in trade like she did the trade checkouts and it was a definitely a lot more chill than the front checkouts like half the time there would be no customers and she would just be like sitting there on her phone so it's definitely um a lot more chill than the front so i would say if you don't have any experience um, or your work experience is limited and you don't know a lot about products, just ask to be put in trade because it's a lot easier than the front checkouts. And yeah, like you do have a couple more responsibilities, but in saying that, it's still a lot easier and you have a lot of downtime. And honestly, you're just sitting around doing nothing a lot of the time. Um, next is Timberyard. So I don't know a lot about this. My brother works um, in this department, but it is a pretty like physical role so a lot of the time you're going to be like lifting 
um, you know, timber, helping people uh, put stuff into their cars. So you do have to be, I guess, quite like strong and be able to lift, um, do a lot of heavy lifting. So if that sounds like you, then maybe ask to be put in Tim Yard. Um, another department is the cafe. So I think this would be a really cool department to work in. I never even realized that like Bunnings had a cafe, honestly. So um, I didn't realize like it was an option. But yeah, if you love coffee and you, you're you more into like the food and hospitality part um, rather than, I guess, tools, then I think the cafe could be a good option. Um, most people that I knew that worked in the cafe, they also had to work at checkouts as well. So you kind of do a bit of both. But yeah, I definitely think the cafe would be a cool place to work. It doesn't get super busy, at least I don't think. Another option is kids DIY. So this is really good as well if you love kids, if you love do being creative, if you love, um, you know, like painting, doing crafts and all that good stuff. Like I have a friend who worked there and she seemed to really enjoy it. Like you basically just got to work with kids and I think she only had to work like a few hours on Saturdays and Sundays. So that was a really good job, especially like if you're a student, I think it would work out pretty well. Another department is power garden. So this is kind of like lawn mowers, chainsaws, that kind of thing. So I would say you definitely have to have a bit of um, knowledge about those products if you want to work in power garden. Um, and yeah, there it also is quite, I wouldn't say stressful. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say it's more stressful than any other department really, but yeah, you would get a lot of customers that, you know, would ask that, um, you know, like their lawnmower breaks down and you have to help fix it. So you definitely have to know a bit about um, those kind of products. But yeah, not a bad department, I guess. Another one is storage. Honestly, I don't know too much about storage. Um, I knew there was a guy that worked there and he seemed pretty young. And honestly, he didn't really know anything about storage. Um, but yeah, this is, I feel like an aisle where you honestly don't need to know too much. Like it is a lot of common sense. Um, and I don't think people would really ask you that much. Like They'll probably ask you about shelving, but honestly, it seems like pretty basic knowledge to me. Another department is plumbing. So this is, I guess, a more like specialized department. If you have experience with plumbing, then of course you should ask to work here. So yeah, I don't think it's one of those departments where you can just like ask to be put in if you don't have any experience um, because, you know, obviously people are looking for expert advice. So you should at least have some background knowledge. And then the next department is paint. Now this is actually a pretty popular department and they seem to hire a lot of like students as well. So you definitely don't need to have a ton of background knowledge because they will like train you. Um, but in saying that, you still do have to help out a lot of customers. You know, they're always, people um, are always asking for help with paint. It's probably the most popular department. And yeah, you're pretty much always going to be like helping customers and putting stock away and doing lifting and stuff like that. You also do have to work with chemicals, so I guess it could be a little bit more dangerous, but yeah, I mean, in saying that, as long as you're safe, then you should be fine. Another department is outdoor living, so this is pretty chill. Like, I think the guy that worked in my store, he was probably like 70 or 80 years old, so um, I guess you don't really have to do that much work. Like, most people that ask for help, it's, it's just like, what barbecue should I get? And then you, you just kind of like look at the specifications and you just like, read the read the box so yeah it's not super hard i don't think um and the last one is electrical so electrical is another pretty specialized department like i feel like if you wanted to work in that department you should at least know some knowledge like you not necessarily have to be an electrician but that would definitely help <laughs> um so yeah anyways that's pretty much it um i know this wasn't super specific like i don't know a ton about all the departments obviously having only worked in one um, but yeah, if you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.